just look like the animal penises I feed my dog. Milk in your mouth soft. Kuala Lumpur. This street? Petaling Street. Actually, my Malaysian friends, almost all of them, they told me like, oh no, 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 Chinatown. It's already like Bangladesh town, but here I am. I've been doing some research, places to eat around here, and it seems like they have so many. This morning, let's start with this. Punky porridge, not the normal porridge, but the rice porridge with raw fish. Seems like it's very busy right there and it sounds pretty interesting to me. So let's check it out, you guys. I ordered two things, raw fish porridge and fresh frog porridge. Exotic breakfast around Chinatown. This is my first time for whatever that we see right here. This is like really fine porridge. We don't eat porridge with frog in Thailand and not with raw fish either. I actually asked the lady, do we eat it like raw raw or we dip it in the porridge first just to cook it a little bit. We could do both. It's safe to eat it like this. Soy sauce on it like that, pepper, like that, stir it around and it's good to go. Yeah? Nice. Fresh milk. Yeah. Here's a bone though. Oh, it's like I lost it. Oh. oh. Oh, it's cooked up. It's cooking slowly. Fish has crunchy spots. I don't know if it's a bone or what. I'm gonna go for the fish now. I actually like love raw fish a lot. Never had it with porridge before. Kind of more uh... The frog, they actually so in a stir fry. Almost like gravy. Actually really good. I like it. I like both of them actually. Some of you that have never tried frog, pretty much like almost like chicken but so much firmer because it's junk, you know? This is I feed my dog. I bought quite a few things. First, for sure, it's like the signature here. Like the 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 popular for this, the well known for this. Egg tart. They actually have the baking station right here. Let's try. This is still like warm. Thick crust. Yeah? Thick? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. A lot of egg flavor. Mmm. Eggy. I actually like it like not too sweet, which is like this. It's not as sweet, so it kind of tastes more eggy. Not like an omelet, but like quiche, I'd say. Quiche. You just had a plain quiche. It's been open for so long also, you guys. Since 1893. They don't just have like the original egg tart one, but the crust. They have the charcoal one and have the pendant one. This is good enough for us already, like really good. I even want to come back for it and maybe like buy some back to Thailand also. 
It tastes good. So we actually bought some home. Two boxes. It smells super good. Well, right now I started to feel like China. That's the only reason because it's red. I can see more red around here. And chestnut. Roasted chestnut. That's why it's Chinatown. What is panas? Oh, panas is hot. Oh, all of this is uh, melon, 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 melon. Oh, what is hot ada? What is bungkus? Ah, okay. Thank you. So this is sejuk melon juice or something. Oh, it's actually melon. Oh, like like pieces of melon. It's like a black Chinese kind of sauce. Mm. I just look the other way a little bit. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. And that was not bad at all. Like at first when we got in, it's like super packed, it's so busy. So the meat itself is kind of bland at the beginning, but then once we put like chili on, that's like make it all better. And then the wonton and the soup, it's just good. It's just hidden here on the Petaling Street. Hot, hot, thirsty. Kim soya bean. Hello, yes. Hello, yes. Um, soy tofu and soya milk. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. We got two things from Kim Soy Bean. So this is like soy milk. Not too sweet. Oh, this is good. Actually, this is good. Like, really, this is good. I just love soy. This is so bit hot. Mm. Oh, like, um, it, it, it's a little bit sweet, so I think they have some syrup on it. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is really soft. It's good. Yeah. Not as a uh, gingery, not as much ginger as usual, but. So this one, vintage 1988. Hello, what's going on? You like her? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Let's say like sweet potato milk, hojicha milk. Vintage lemonade, which is the signature lemonade with Himalaya salt. I just got a iced coffee, black coffee. You have no idea. How small it is! Cute little cup. I love this taste, like um, a little acidity. What's it called? This one is called, it's long name, Duo Dragon Pearl. Golden Waterfall, like that's the name, that's literally the name. It's already like second time of the day that we came for this. I know like we in Malaysia, why not te terik, why bubble tea instead. It's pretty addictive and at, at the same time this is like a really great find. Like tea smell, like tea aroma and at the same time. This one you get like two types of pearl. Black one, like a small little one and then the white one which is a little bit bigger than pearl. The boba is, is like, a, like a really good texture. It's like in the middle, not too hard, not too soft. It's like, it's just good, you guys. Even though it's not tetheric, when you're in Kuala Lumpur, you have to try this. This is real good. The last one that we're going here is a ramen place and not the normal one because this one, they literally like a handmade Noodle. And by that I mean like a, they really like use their hand. They're making it right there inside the restaurant. 
Right next to the coffee shop we went by earlier too. First one, xiao dao a dao xiao <laughs> noodle. They're like a like this. This one, they actually hand stretch it. Let me try the soup. Whatever we've been getting in Chinatown, it's like it's good taste, but at the same time, it's bland. Like for me, it's bland because I'm probably like so used to Thai taste, which like so intense. Yeah, this one is good, like it's mild, like, yeah, it's mild, but it's a handmade noodle. Yeah, it's good. Enough, just enough flavor. Street food mm -hmm. at its finest. It's just so like, soft. Whoa. You have to see how thin the meat the cut, like, thin. Can I have some chili, please? It's not super strong, but it's way stronger than the last couple suits we've had. Thank you. Don't overdo it first. Okay, I'm gonna dump it in. Though, have then. you tried it yet? It's more smoky than hot. Okay. Diving in. Mm. I like it. Okay. I actually like this Tao Xiao noodle more. Is it Tao Xiao or Xiao Tao? I actually like this one much more because it's like, it let you chew. That one is pretty much like soft. You're like, whoop, whoop, whoop. This one has Done. a lot of vegetables too. I actually kind of like the noodle itself, but not. Like the soup was kind of okay. It's charm. It's how the noodle get made. It's been the whole food day that I've been eating around Chinatown. All of them are pretty good. Some are like better than the others. I hope you guys enjoy this Chinatown food tour journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Way Beyond Pad Thai channel and I will see you guys in the next video.